Senator Eva Kalaw was a force of nature. She was also one of the staunchest critics of dictator Ferdinand Marcos. In 1971, during a campaign rally at Plaza Miranda in Manila, two grenades ripped through the atmosphere, killing nine and injuring 95 people. Among the injured was Kalaw. After surviving the horrific bombings at Plaza Miranda, Kalaw walked out of the hospital in crutches and continued her campaign trail. Despite her injury, she became the first woman to be re-elected as senator. This was in spite of dictator Ferdinand Marcos using all his resources to stop her bid. When she was not busy surviving assassinations or being jailed during the Marcos regime, Kala was crafting laws that remain consequential to this day. She helped elevate the Social Welfare Administration into a department, today's DSWD. Kalaw also led the creation of barrio high schools in remote areas of the Philippines, making education accessible to all. She was also the brains behind the creation of student and faculty representatives in the governing bodies of state universities. At the peak of the Vietnam War in the 1960s, Kalaw went against the U.S. and Marcos when she strongly opposed sending Filipino troops to Vietnam. In 1972, Marcos decided to silence Kalaw and other critics by padlocking the entrance to the Senate. Undeterred, Kalaw and her ally senators went to the Senate Hall resulting in this iconic photo. They were rounded up and arrested right after being photographed. The greatest sacrifice Kalaw ever made was perhaps yielding to Cory Aquino in 1985 because she wanted a united opposition front. If Kalaw had not yielded, she could have become the Philippines' first woman president. Her sacrifice ended her political career. Eva Kalaw died in 2017 at the age of 96, barely a month shy of her 97th birthday. <laughs>